Hey everybody, thank you for tuning in once again. My name is Dr. Joe and I'm Dr. Diona. All right, and we're the mental health sisters. We didn't say that together. Oh well. <laughs> Anywho, so this is gonna kickstart off our relationship talk. So basically, we always get these little questions about relationships, and we mm -hmm. figured, hey, why not make it a five minute thing where we quickly answer your questions about the different relationship issues that you're having. Mm -hmm. So feel free, subscribe if you have not already. And if you have your own relationship questions, send them in. You never know. One day you'll be featured on our video and don't yes. worry. We'll protect your identity. Anonymous. Yes, as much as we can. I mean, if you tell on yourself, that's something different. Okay, so um, we're gonna start off with this uh, question that was sent in by someone. So. Hi, I've been having a little bit of difficulty getting over my relationship. Mm -hmm. I was with my girlfriend for a few years and we've been on and off for a while, but I find myself always wanting to go back to her. Mm -hmm. I don't necessarily know why I feel this way. The relationship has not necessarily been that great, but for some reason, I find myself constantly wanting to be back in that relationship. Um, I know there's lots of ups and downs, but all relationships have them. And I also know that I just don't want to be alone. Mm. What should I do? I can definitely empathize with their struggle. Uh, when it comes to the end of a relationship, whether it's good or bad, it's still a loss of one kind or another. Um, one of the things we want to get out of the habit of doing is comparing our journey to someone else's because sometimes well-meaning family members and friends will say things like why don't you just get over him or why don't you just get over her she didn't treat you right he didn't treat you right it's not that simple when it comes to matters of the heart number one number two one of the things that might keep you tied to that person is if you have a long history with them or maybe even if they mimicked some of the experiences you had in your family of origin where there was a lot of conflict, emotional mm -hmm. abuse, verbal abuse, and so on and so forth, you might have actually gotten used to that. So you start to think, this yep. is what love looks like. So you may even wonder, now that I don't have this, will I be hashtag forever alone? So those types of things can factor in and make it incredibly difficult for you to kind of not just end the, the relationship, but move on from it. Mm -hmm. And then in addition to getting past the dysfunction, one of the things you have to also remember is that this relationship just ended, okay? Mm -hmm. So whenever things end and we're grieving, we always go through this period where, let's say, you know, you have a family member or friend who dies. Mm -hmm. You start to think of all of the good things about this person. Yes, so you're at their funeral and you're like, you know, so-and-so was so great and so-and-so used to be there for me and so-and-so used to go and yes. get so-and-so yes. whatever. Uh, yeah, that may be true, but there were also a lot of other negative things about Mr. So-and-so. Exactly. So you have to kind of keep that mindset because what we call that in psychology is a halo effect. Mm. Once you're grieving something, someone has passed away or something has died, you remember all of the great things, but it's mm -hmm. almost like you forget all of the negative things that were associated with that relationship. So try to just keep a balanced view in mind. Try mm -hmm. to remember that the first things you think of are are going to be the good things but mm -hmm. also hold on to and remember the reasons why you broke it off yeah the other thing that i want to address is you said that you don't want to be alone you have to take a look deep down inside yourself and see why is that mm -hmm. is there this fear is there this thing like you're not good enough and this is going to confirm that mm -hmm. is there some That's you know poor self-awareness going on here is there a reason why you feel the need to be in a relationship because you don't want to be in a relationship for the wrong reasons. You want to be True. with someone because you feel like this person is a good fit, you guys are compatible, and you're going to come together to formulate a team. But he shouldn't be feeling some type of dependency needs you have, and you want to make sure you don't have that codependent relationship mm -hmm. where it's like you're trying to be someone's savior because in the end, you're both going to burn. And I do want to point out with regards to codependency, mm -hmm. recognizing this whole you complete me shtick that's out there, Mm -mm. Not you want to be a whole person who is getting into a relationship with another whole 
or complete person and you guys compliment each other right. but it is not your job to fix him or her and it is not their job to fix you so going back to what my sis said figuring out what is the reason why i can't be alone why do i need this companionship and figuring out is there something i need to address in me before i get into another relationship all right, so I hope that tip was helpful. Um, everyone else, feel free to reach out with your questions if you have them. You never know, like I said, you might be featured on our video. And I hope that we'll feel comfortable just having the conversation because I'm sure a lot of us are on the same page when it comes to these things mm -hmm. and we can all relate. So why yes. not help each other? All right, so once again, I'm Dr. Joe. I'm Dr. Diona. And I hope that we'll see you next time. All right, bye.